Where I come from, teaching and learning happens in a workplace, a corporate workplace. In our business environment, we actually create digital e-learning materials for companies with thousands of branches and tens of thousands of employees who need to undergo consistent and uniform training. The Philippines is also a prime source for English teachers located in various islands of the archipelago to students in various countries like Europe, Latin America, China, Japan, Korea, among others. Let me share with you some of the free or almost no-cost ICT tools that can help you collaborate both internally and externally with your colleagues as we have used them in the private sector. Gain knowledge and confidence to start using these tools to improve the collaborative process in your schools and uh, learning uh, institutions. I would like to acknowledge the materials of Jane Hart, a highly regarded speaker and writer on modern approaches to learning in the workplace, founder of Center for Learning and Performance Technologies, one of the world's most visited learning sites on the web. For the teacher, school is his workplace, where he teaches using the most basic of traditional methods or something like chalk talk. The lecture or lesson is basically the teacher being the master of content driving the learning in the classroom. For the learner, school is his workplace. This is where he begins to learn the use of the same teaching tool that his teacher has adapted. The selection of tools for collaboration and teaching online, once fully realized, allows for the creation of social collaboration. With the internet, the student can learn the content with teacher shifting his role, now becoming the guide or coach, and technology being the tools of his trade. I selected some ICT tools from the top 100 tools voted in 2015 as some of the examples that are usable in your school environment. A learning tool is any software or online tool or service that can be used for your personal learning or for teaching or training. Earlier on, I mentioned that many companies in the Philippines create and digitize lessons coming from printed materials or manuals to e-learning lessons. E-learning starts with content that is interesting and rich and creative. PowerPoint is one of the most common learning tools used. Other licensing tools like Captivate, Articulate, and many more are very popular. And these authoring tools are used to create digitized e-learning courses. While these tools need commercial licenses, licenses for the academe can be secured at no cost when negotiated with the likes of Microsoft. Content needs to be hosted in an LMS, and Moodle is an open source course management system that has been widely used by teachers. More content started with MOOCs, which continue to gain ground in training departments of business workplaces. More content started with MOOCs, which continue to gain grounds in the training departments of business workplaces. In addition to traditional course materials in MOOCs, they also provide interactive user forums for the community of learners. Let's go to YouTube. This is a place for anyone who wants to share his or her own video. And many teachers have actually made their own using the best part of their courses as material for YouTube. The best thing, again, about YouTube is the infrastructure. It's free, and you can use it and create your own lessons. TED Talk is a nonprofit devoted to creating short videos of ideas worth spreading. TED Ed is a side tool that helps you create lessons around TED Talks. Wikipedia, the great source for quickly finding definitions about topic before digging deeply into more information. With all of these materials, how do you use it? iPad is great to have on hand, but smartphones also work. Just like iPad, they have their own learning applications that you can use. And most Filipinos have a smartphone on hand for their learning experience. Twitter, a great tool used to share messages and ideas to other people. All you need is to input less than 140 characters. 
Tweets can be shared for students who really don't like to talk in the classroom. For faculty, it can be used for sharing with your personal or professional learning network or your PLN. Google search, access of information using Google search by different teachers while on teleconferencing will be the only e-learning tool a teacher will ever need. Google Docs or Google Drive is used by teachers to share lesson materials in any document formats such as a spreadsheet, slides, and PowerPoint or even other forms while their students and peers review them. Students can actually modify the same material and submit as a group an everyday collaboration with transparency and in exchange of ideas among your uh, students and peers. Where do you store or share documents? Dropbox. Dropbox is another important tool for sharing files used in the workplace and education. With only five gigabytes of memory space that is given for free, students will probably not be able to use up all of this space in one semester. Facebook. While intended as an individual and personal networking tool, it is now widely used by teachers to support study groups. Communication by email is going to be tough for teachers. Students will probably not open them, but will surely access their Facebook every day. Teachers can create a close group of students and peers. Content can be shared, content can be attached and sent. Shared and connected, this is a great tool for teachers. WordPress is another free source. It's also used widely by individuals and organizations for blogs. Our own school alumni association use WordPress for a website. How do you connect then with the others using a conferencing material or conferencing tool? Skype, it's a very useful tool for one-on-one -on -one or group discussions or group conversations. And you can share materials also on Skype. Let me just summarize that school is a place where both teacher and student teach and learn alone or in collaboration with their respective peers and peer groups. Let's face it, school is also a workplace. The discovery of learning is more meaningful when students organize in groups to figure out how to present analysis and solutions. Teachers creating their own learning material can start sharing them and jumpstart their own professional and personal learning network of teachers and subject matter experts and create a community of practice in e-learning. Thank you very much.